We're going to talk about my addiction to being productive. My addiction to being, to procrastinating. <laughs> so whether you like to be productive all the time, like, you know, you're constantly looking at your to-do list and checking, oh, what thing can I knock off this item? Or if you find a to-do list really restricting and you just want to put that off until you feel like doing it. So know that there isn't like a good and bad to being productive and being procrastinating, right? If you're the kind that tends to do things like methodically and just knock things off right on, on the list, you know, it's very efficient, but it also, you know, limits spontaneity and creativity. Yeah, and my approach, you know, maximizes spontaneity and creativity, but it creates a lot of stress in my life because I have things that are due or overdue and they still haven't come out yet. So the answer of whether you're addicted to being, you know, productive all the time, overworking and overachieving and just drowning yourself in work or you tend to be the kind that wait till last minute is to find unconditional love right where you are not harsh with your deadlines and you're not harsh and say okay i gotta work on my website at 9 p.m today i'm gonna put a, an appointment on my calendar right kind of like military style and just control freak over every detail and also not waiting till the night before something is due because something like making a website guess what it has no deadline so you know it's something that has no deadline it doesn't get done is to be somewhere in between like i set an intention that you know the universe will guide me at the next available time and space where I am vibing in, you know, um, unconditional love, I will spontaneously have this desire to work on my website such that, you know, I'm going to set the intention that sometime in the next week, I will find the time, energy, and resources to work on the website. So therefore, the work is spontaneous, is creative, but I'm also giving myself a general guideline. I'm going to be work on it at some point this week. And um, yeah, so I hope that you find this helpful. Intention is really powerful. It, it, like when I put things off, I'm telling the universe, I don't want to do this. Mm. So when I, when I set the intention to do it, make that the priority, then I can do it in its time, but in a reasonable time and not after it's due. All right. I hope you find this video helpful. Love you so much. Love you. Bye.